Pola Camarada. Here, now I present to you Anarchy Defined, 1907, by Rico Malatesta, 1853-1930. Anarchy is a word that comes from the Greek, and signifies, strictly speaking, without government, the state of a people without any constituted authority. Before such an organization had begun to be considered possible and desirable by a whole class of thinkers, so as to be taken as the aim of a movement, which has now become one of the most important factors in modern social welfare. The word anarchy was used universally in the sense of disorder and confusion, and it is still adopted in that sense by the ignorant and by adversaries interested in distorting the truth. We shall not enter into philological discussions, for the question is not philological but historical. The common interpretation of the word does not misconceive its true etymological significance, but is derived from it, owing to the prejudice that government must be a necessity of the organization of social life, and that consequently a society without government must be given up to disorder, and oscillate between the unbridled dominion of some and the blind vengeance of others. The existence of this prejudice and its influence on the meaning the public has given to the word is easily explained. Man, like all living beings, adapts himself to the conditions in which he lives, and transmits by inheritance his acquired habits. Thus, being born and having lived in bondage, being the descendant of a long line of slaves, man, when he began to think, believed that slavery was an essential condition of life, and liberty seemed to him impossible. In like manner, the workman, forced for centuries to depend on the goodwill of his employer for work, that is, for bread, and accustomed to see his own life at the disposal of those who possess the land and capital, has ended in believing that it is his master who gives him food, and asks ingeniously how it would be possible to live, if there were no master over him. In the same way, a man whose limbs had been bound from birth, but nevertheless learn how to hobble about, might attribute to the bonds that bound his his very ability to move, while on the contrary, they would diminish the muscular capacity of his limbs. If then we add to the natural effects of habit the education given by his master, the parson, the teacher etc. who are all interested in teaching that the employer and the government are necessary, if we add the judge and the policeman to force those who think differently, and might try to propagate their opinions, to keep silent, we shall understand how the prejudice as to the utility and necessity of masters and government has become established. Suppose a doctor brought forward a complete theory, with a thousand ably invented illustrations, to persuade the man with bound limbs that, if his limbs were freed, he could not walk, or even live. The man would defend his bands furiously and consider anyone his enemies who tried to tear them off. Thus, if it is believed that government is necessary and that without government there must be disorder AMD confusion, it is natural and logical to suppose that anarchy, which signifies absence of government, must also mean absence of order. Nor is this fact without parallel in the history of words. In those epochs and countries where people have considered government by one man, monarchy, necessary, the word republic, government by many, has been used precisely like anarchy, to imply disorder and confusion. Traces of this meaning of the word can still be found in languages of almost all countries. When this opinion is changed, and he public are convinced that government is not necessary, but extremely harmful, the word anarchy precisely because it signifies without government, will become equal to saying natural order, harmony of needs and interests of all, complete liberty with complete solidarity. I might also add complete equality. Therefore, those are wrong who say that anarchists have chosen their names badly, because it is erroneously understood by the masses and leads to place interpretation. The error does not come from the word, but from the thing. The difficulty anarchists meet in spreading their views does not depend on the name they have given themselves, but upon the fact that their conceptions strike at all the inveterate prejudices which people have about the function of government or the state, as it is called. Quoted from George Woodcock's The Anarchist Reader. Biographical Supplement. Milizzo is a fight comrade born of bushy Italian rents. He joined International 1.0 and was like Mikhail baby where have you been all my life? 
at the time he was studying medicine Bots was like nah, and spent the rest of his days being a thorn in the side of bushy asses as far apart as Turkey and Argentina. While he was in decline, Mussolini kept him under house arrest and after he died threw him in a mass grave quote Woodcock, least his monument should become a symbolic rallying point for dissenters. Give it the fuck up for camarada Molotesta.